Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is another update analysis video and Animal Revolt Battle Simulator has now updated to version 0.72 bringing three very interesting changes to the game which two of them are new units. I'll put the patch notes up for this update up on screen now and um, these can be found on the Animal Revolt Battle Simulator Discord server and also can be found on their Steam page. So let's start this video off by looking at the new units. The two new units added this update were the Spartan Warrior and the Hussar, I think that's how you pronounce it, Hussar, I don't know, Pro that's probably how you pronounce it, but I could be completely wrong. So, I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of the units now, you can have a quick look at them. I've got to say, they are pretty nice looking, especially the horse model, I'm a big fan of that. It's, it's a very, very nice looking model. I really like the details on the Spartan Warrior's armour, with like the little dents and stuff from pro possible damage. Sp starting off with the Spartan Warrior, this unit costs $14 and utilises three weapons, well, sort of three weapons. Its primary weapon is its very, very long spear, or pike, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the secondary weapon is a sword, which he pulls out from somewhere, back there probably should have been looking and also he uses his shield to protect himself from projectiles I'll put a little bit of footage up now of him utilizing these three abilities My personal opinion of the unit, he's alright, he's not, he's nothing really that special. I, I like how he um, uses three different weapons, but he's fairly cheap, so he's not really going to be used as like the main driving force of an army. But, because of that long reach of the spear, it's, it's pretty good against most melee units, so yeah, he does, he does fill a, fill a role. Now moving on to the Hussar. This thing will cost you $20, but... It's very strange where it is actually two units in one. As you can see in the bottom corner here, it says team one, there's two units. And as you can see, there's nobody else on the field. They'll both act as one until either they take a substantial amount of damage or they smash into something where they'll both detach and the horse will use a kicking attack and also utilize trample damage. And the rider will use its lance but once it falls off, it will then switch to its sword. I'll put a bit of footage up of these guys battling now. So yeah, overall, a very, very nice uh, addition to the game. Very unique as well. The first actual unit that actually rides something, which is actually pretty cool. And I like how it is classed as two units. So yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Now moving on to my favourite part of this update, well, in my personal opinion, is the spawner. This thing is classed as a building, won't cost you a penny, and there's a lot you can do with it. You can select your unit, which they will all be placed in alphabetical order, so they are pretty easy to find. Also, there's a lot of customization here, such as the maximum amount of units that can sp spawn, the delay of how many units spawn, and even you can change the detection distance and the AI modes of the units that come out. Same with the HP and attack multiplier. So it can be very, very well edited to suit your um, your personal preference. And it can also be dynamic or static, which is even better. I didn't notice this before, but it can also be created as a prefab. So if you like certain settings, you can keep them and then you can pop them back down. So yeah, I'm going to show you a bit of footage of this thing in play now. Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah guys, I think that was everything this update had to offer. I have had a quick look through, um, and I have not noticed any other changes with any units, whether that be abilities or price. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!